what are the different ways of defining member functions in C++? Defining member functions. Member functions of a class can be defined either inside or outside class definition. In both the cases, function body remains the same, only function prototype will be different. Defining member function inside class definition. Member function defined inside class definition are by default inline functions. Only small function should be defined inside class definition. General form of defining member function inside class definition, return type, function name and set of parameters and body of the function, function body. So it is having a general syntax for writing a function. First, we have to mention the return data type, then the function name and set of parameters and the body of the function. An example program, C++ program to create a class named a circle with one data member named radius and a member function named find area, which will find and return area of circle. Include constructor to initialize data member value. Constructor and member function need to be defined inside class. So we have to create a class which is named as circle with one data member radius and one method find area. Both constructor and find area method need to be defined inside the class. So first we create a class which is named as circle. So class circle starts and ends with curly braces and outside the curly brace, we have to mention the semicolon. In the private section, we declare a data member which is named as radius of int type. In the public, first we are writing the constructor, a parameterized constructor. The constructor is a function which is having the same name as the class name. So we have written a constructor with one parameter r, which is used to initialize the value of radius. So the value of r will get assigned to the data member radius. So the definition of the constructor is defined inside the class itself. Next, we are defining the method to find area, which is named as find area. Find area method returns the result. So the return data type is float and find area does not take any parameters. In the definition of find area, we have written the statement as return pi into radius into radius, which is the equations to calculate the area of a circle, pi r square. So the class definition is completed. The class is named as circle with one data member radius. And in the public section, there is one parameterized constructor and a method which is named as find area, which is used to calculate the area of circle and return the result. In the main method, first we accept the value of radius from user in a variable named r. So a variable is declared of int type as r and by using c and we accept the value of r from user. Now by using this particular value, we create an object for the circle class. So we write circle C1 of R. So the value of R will pass to radius and C1 is the object of the circle class. By using this C1 object, we can find area method. We can call find area method. So C1 dot find area. Now find area will return the result. So that need to be stored in a temporary variable or it need to be used inside the cout statement so that the result returned from find area will get displayed. So we call c1.findArea in cout statement. So the result will get displayed in cout. Next method is defining member function outside class definition. To define member function outside class, 
function declaration to be done inside class. While defining member function outside class, include class name and scope resolution operator, which is two colon symbol, between return type and function name. Scope resolution operator informs compiler that member function belong to the class. General form of defining member function outside class definition. First, we mentioned the return type, then class name followed by scope resolution operator and function name and set of parameters and body of the function. So while we are defining the member function outside the class, we have to mention the name of the class and scope resolution operator between the return type and the function name. Example, C++ program to create a class named circle with one data member radius and a member function named find area, which will find and return area of circle. Include constructor to initialize the data member value. Constructor and member function need to be defined outside the class. So here we have to define the function outside the class. So function need to be declared inside the class and it needs to be defined outside. So we create a class which is named as circle and a private data member which is named as radius. And in the public section, we declare the constructor and the member function a parameterized constructor with one integer parameter and a member function which is named as find area whose return data type is float. Now both the constructor and the member function need to be defined outside the class. So while we are defining it outside, first we have to mention the class name followed by scope resolution operator in between return type and function name. Constructor does not have any return type. So we first mention the class name circle followed by scope resolution operator and the constructor name which is circle itself and it takes an integer parameter the parameter name is r in the definition so the value of r needs to be initialized to the data member radius similarly we have to define the member function find area outside the class so first we have to mention the return data type of find area which is float followed by class name circle and scope resolution operator which is two colon symbol and the function name which is find area without any parameters because find area method does not take any parameter here and we define this find area function which is return pi into radius into radius which is return pi into radius into radius in the main method, we accept the value of radius from user in a variable r. By using this radius value r, we create an object for the circle. So we create an object which is named as c1. So c1 is a circle object and r is a value which is passed to its constructor. So radius will get initialized with the value of r. And now we can call find area method by using the object c1 and dot operator. So we call c1 dot find area and the result will display by using c out statement. So in this example, both the constructor circle and the find area method we have declared inside the class and it is defined outside. 